how to generate graphs in SPSS. What you need to do is just having the data which you want to analyze in SPSS either raw or imported but you must ensure that you have input the data well in SPSS. I have provided the link of a video which I have created on how to enter data in SPSS either raw or imported data guided on ensure that before you watch this video you have watched my previous videos on how to enter or input data and define them in SPSS and now we can start our trial in generating graphs and charts in SPSS what we need to do is to use those graphs to help us analyze this data which we have in terms of this video i would like us to cover how to generate bar graphs pie charts and histogram using spss in a few minutes then i will create another video after this video which show you how to generate scatter plots using spss so in in order to generate a bar graph using spss what you need to do is just click the option analyze then you can move to where we have descriptive statistics Click the option frequency in your descriptive statistics. So I think um, I love money very much. I'm a fat believer of making money. So I'll come to where we have to where we have income. So I would like to see the variation of their incomes in terms of bar graph. So I will click the option income and click this arrow enter. I'll click the option charts and choose bar graph as I promise. Do you want to generate bar graph? I want to see them in terms of percentage or but you can also choose to visualize in terms of frequencies. Then hit continue. After hitting continue, you come here and he's okay. If you don't want to see the frequency display frequency tables, you can remove it and or I don't need I don't see the need of not being able to visualize that frequency table in my market after clicking it the software will work for you can you see now we have the the bar graph and the frequency table here see the bar graph look somehow similar since i think these incomes were independent of the respondent they were not dependent or they were not dependent on they were somehow independent incomes so what we do now next is we generate a pie chart of the income also so where we come you come to descriptive statistics the process is the same you come to where we have frequency but i think for this video since we have done the for income in our bar chart in our bar chart let us now use i think being fun believer of money i feel a lot of thing when i'm using hormone 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 before we can visualize also the the pie chart of the hormone before and click the arrow here in order to analyze that data then click the option chart then what we want to generate is a pie chart i will click the option pie chart then click what do we, should we see the pie chart as frequencies or percentage let us view it in terms of percentages then click continue after clicking continue then i will click ok and does wait it have generated a frequency table here its frequency was one 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 since they were depend they were in they were independent independent from the respondent can you see we have developed a pie chart for our for our hormones this is our pie chart a very beautiful pie chart uh, i know the question which is clicking into your mind is how can you can i use this data and import it to my word when i'm trying to do my research or doing anything 
which you want to transfer this data you just click above this data and click and click it then click copy then you can come and open your microsoft word if you are doing research then you can expand open a new document and then click paste give me a minute i connect my my computer with a charger it is somehow going off this is where my bright the screen brightness have gone very down now i think i'm okay and now you can put it where you want in your research and try and describe the data there so that was not part of our lesson what i want to show you again is how you can generate a histogram using also spss so you come to where we have the data here what we do is the same process we click analyze then you move to where we have descriptive statistics where we have stat descriptive statistics we click the option frequencies i think now we can compare also the the age uh, can, I, can we compare the age of the respondent let me remove this one and now visualize the histogram of the age of respondent after you click above that age then click the arrow here then i want uh, i want also to display a frequency table of their ages then i will click charts i want us to generate a histogram and also i want the normal curve to see if i have a normal distribution or by distribution is skewed this is where it is skewed from the bin so i click i want that normal curve to appear in my histogram then click continue after clicking continue i'll click ok and wait for the software to release a histogram for me it is very fast i think my computer has been very fast now so this one is my histogram it has been generated you know if you want to use it in your when doing your research you just click copy and then paste it where you want to use it and i think that can make the end of our video you can do practice with this data i will also put this data in my description page so that you can download you can be able to open that data and also read the question since we are we were using an example question and try to do some analysis in using it also i have the notes on how to generate these graphs and also for topic one on how to enter raw data and imported data so if you need those notes you can also contact me through my contact which i will put in the description page of this video thank you for watching kindly don't forget to give this video a thumb up and also a subscription and also a comment to encourage me if the video is helpful to you or what i can advance and what i can de-advance thank you